Okay, good afternoon. Uh, normally I, I come on stage riding a motorbike, but I couldn't get my Harley up here, so I do it this way. My talk is about leadership in a tribe and the leader within. And it's also about love. Now you may wonder, what's love got to do with it? What's love got to do with leadership and leading yourself? And I say everything. And I will explain to you in the next 10 minutes, but first, let me share my background with you. For over 30 years now, I have been leading a motorcycle club, an MC. And some people call it an OMG. And OMG doesn't stand for, oh my God, although that's probably what some people think when they see us. But in this case, OMG stands for Outlaw Motorcycle Gang. And which is we are truly not, by the way. We're not outlaws, we're not a gang, but we do ride motorcycles. And I can assure you that after my talk, you will think differently about guys in motorcycle clubs. And hopefully, you take something from the biker life from us with you and apply it in your private life. Or maybe in your work. And maybe after this talk, you all want to be bikers. And if you, if you trust the media to tell you the truth, and especially here in Holland, you could think a biker, a motor dude like that, he will earn his money by doing illegal or even violent things. But I, I'm sorry to disappoint you, it's not going to be that exciting this afternoon. The way I pay my rent is that I train people and develop organizations by calling myself the new referent, the new Domine. You see, I, I wasn't joking about the Harley on stage, but the, the new referent is not about religion, it's about spreading the word. Four words, actually. Love, respect, trust, and loyalty. And you see, what I do, I use the knowledge I have from out of the motorcycle world, and I help people build organizations by teaching them how you build a brotherhood. And for us bikers, building a brotherhood is based on two things. The first is key values, core values like this. Love, respect, trust, and loyalty are our core values. And the second, it's based on a quote of the role model for us bikers the example of loving and respecting each and everyone alive. And you guessed it, it is Mother Teresa. And she said, the problem in the world is that we draw the circle of our family too small. And if you listen to the leader within, to your inner voice, then you will hear that there's only one human species. And that's humanity. So what we do is these core values in our club, trusting and loving each other, is something that's not for sure. That takes a lot of work. Trusting your brothers in an unconditional way requires a lot. It requires me to open up, and stay open, to have the guts to be vulnerable, to have the guts to depend on my clubmates entirely. And that means spending a lot of time together, experiencing difficult situations together, and being there for each other when the moment of truth has come. And ultimately, it could mean that I have to give up my freedom for them. And in the worst case scenario, it could mean that I have to give my life for them. And why, people, why, why would you do that? Because I feel and I know that they would do the same for me. So this loving and respecting what I say is what we call the circle of trust. And the circle of trust is something you form by standing shoulder to shoulder. And in that circle, you watch over and you protect the one to the left of you and the one to the right of you. 
And in that way you form a circle in which everybody in that circle is looked after by each and every one of them. And that circle, and within that circle, that's our tribe. And a tribe to me, a tribe is a group of people that trust each other, take care of each other, and rely on each other. And in fact, it's very similar to my own family at home, which I see as a tribe as well. You see, in my family, and in, my MC, in the club as well, trust, loyalty, love, and respect are the foundation. And that feeling, that feeling of being part of that circle of trust, feeling of being part of something bigger than yourself, is what I call the vibe of the tribe. And that vibe comes from within, it's your energy. And that energy, that vibe, to me was lacking when I came to work and train in big organizations. There was no sense of mutual love and trust and respect. There was no sense of interdependency. There was no vibe of the tribe. And what I mainly met was me, myself and I. I noticed such selfish behavior in these organizations, especially among the leaders. Most of them were looking after themselves first, second and third. And I thought, are these the role models for our society as true leaders? Let me ask you a question. Would you think that your leaders in your companies or in our country would sacrifice themselves or would sacrifice their own well-being for the good of the people in the company? You don't? No one? I think there's two reasons for that. The first reason is that our egos and our fears and our beliefs separate us. And the second, the second is that we tend to overlook the people, the men and women, who do behave as true leaders. And I'll give you one, I'll show you one. This is Marita Blindeman. Or should I say this was Marita Blindeman. She was a 54-year-old nursery school teacher from Dende, Dendemonde in Belgium. And she died protecting the kids in daycare Fabeltjesland against a sick, twisted sick boy with a knife. In 2009, this boy came to her work, to her tribe, to her kids, to harm them. And Marita Blindemann's stab wounds showed that she used her own body to protect the children against the knife of the offender. And to me, she made me realize what true leadership is all about. She showed me what love has got to do with leadership. True leadership is about love, and not about hate. True leadership is about respect, and not about intolerance. True leaders do not put themselves first. True leaders are willing to sacrifice themselves to protect others. A group becomes a tribe when there's love like this, leadership like this, and something I call common ground, when there are shared core values. A group evolves into something more than a bunch of individuals when there's a common set of values and beliefs. And if there's not, that group remains a mere bunch of individuals. You see, the difference between an organization and a tribe and these core values. Let me show you by doing a little test. Would you please stand up for me for a second? Thank you. And I have to uh, a limited amount of time. Eh? Okay, thank you. The first question is three or four questions. The first one, who of you works for a boss or for a company, large or small? Please remain standing and the others sit down. If you don't work for a boss, for a company. If you work for yourself or you don't work at all, please sit down. <laughs> the, second, the second is, who of you are still standing are very familiar with the terms of employment? So the terms of employment are how much money do you have to, have to pay you each month, how much days off is in the paper, that kind of stuff. Are you very familiar with it? Please remain standing. Okay, <laughs> okay. 
The third question. How much of you are very familiar with each and every one of the core values of the company you work for? If you can reproduce them, remain standing. And if you're in doubt, please sit down. And the last question. How much of you see or feel that these core values of the company are your own core values? Are these the same? And if it's not, please sit down. Okay, thank you. You see, you can sit down. There, are, there were only a few of you standing, and that's no shame. It's no shame that most employees know exactly everything about their core, the terms of employment. But they have no clue about the core values of the company they work for. And that, ladies and gentlemen, to me, is the difference between an organization and a tribe. The difference, core values determine the difference between a coming together, a conditional coming together in an organization, and an unconditional being together in a tribe. So, let me give you a sincere advice as the new Domine. Let's form new tribes. Let's form new circles of trust. And keep Mother Teresa in mind, don't draw these circles too small. But let me tell you this, not as a referent, but as a human being, we're all part of the same tribe, and that tribe is called humanity. And it takes you to be a leader. And you can say, why on earth should I be a leader? I'm not a leader. And I say, that's bullshit. Everybody is a leader. You're all the leader of at least one person, and that is you. And that person deserves you to lead the hard way. How can we transform these organizations into tribes? And we need tribes. There's a huge need for companies where people, people can feel safe and leading their hard way. But I know it's a big thing to take on, especially on your own. It's almost not possible to change an entire organization or transform an organization into a tribe all by yourself. And therefore, I'd like to finish with the last quote of our role, of our role model for us bikers, Mother Teresa, and she said also did this. She said, not all of us can do great things, but we all can do small things with great love. So, start loving and respecting the one to the left of you and the one to the, left, the right of you. True leadership starts with love, respect, trust, and loyalty for the ones in your tribe. And at least be you. It means when you're yourself and you listen to your leader within, then the vibe of the tribe will be there. And as last, I want to ask you, what's the alternative? What's the alternative to not listening to the leader within? The alternative is to live a life that is not authentically yours. And if you don't listen to your leader within, you turn away from the very things the world needs. And that is your passion, your talent, and your leadership. The energy has got to come out, so the vibe can be there. Stand shoulder to shoulder, listen to your leader within, and form new circles of trust. Why? Because the world needs you. Thank you all. Let love rule. <laughs>